Hello, people of the internet. My name is Mia Cotton, and welcome back to Pizza Game. Now, last time we played, we made Sensei extremely upset, and he started crying. And then we had a a, lar a very lanky-ish teacher come in and substitute, and he banished Warped Lant to the bathroom. You know what happened in the last episode. If you don't know, just go watch the last episode. I don't know why you're just going immediately to this one without watching the previous episodes. I don't understand your life. I'm not going to attempt to. All right, we're going to continue. Ah! Oh my gosh! What? Huh? Who's there? Oh, phew. It was just a- it was just nightmare. What was? I had a terrible dream where we ran out of creative dialogues for this exact same getting up sequence. God damn it. Damn you self-aware game! Wait, that's the reason you woke me up? It was a very scary dream. I'm going back to bed. Wait, class starts at 9 today, remember? Oh, yeah! What a weird plot contrivance! <laughs> Wait a minute! Don't I have work? Can I go back to- like, can I at least see if I still have my job? <laughs> to think if I were still rocking with Mr. Aramnaze, I wouldn't be able to do both activities. I guess it's a good thing I screwed up at my job after all. <laughs> no, that was still a mistake. <laughs> Another di- and I'm here now! And I'm here now! Another day, another class of class school. I think I finally got to memorize all the vocabulary terms for the big test! Do you think you are ready? Heck yeah! Want me to list them all? Theory question mark? Go for it. Car! <laughs> I knew it! I fucking knew it! Oh my god! You're so smart! I'm so smart! I'm a little rough on the definitions, but I can probably, probably cheese it. What? How can you be rough on the definition of car? It's metal big box thing that go vroom! Yeah. <laughs> oh god, warp lamp. What do you mumble about, geek of the week? Congrats, BTW. Thanks! Exclamation point, period. For what? Obviously, for being chosen as Geek of the Week by official committee of Twisted. None of us want to, 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 to meet again for like the rest of the years. Oh, we went ahead and nominated you for the other 51 week as well. Are there 52 weeks in a year? I need to double check that. Which is to say pretty much forever. Think you could handle it, Diet Dork? Wait, is Diet Dork a good or a bad thing? What? That's not- that's not the award I wanted to win! I wanted to win prettiest t princess! Yeah, and I wanted to win prettiestestest princess! Where's- <laughs> Hmm, it looks like one of us is going to have to die. <laughs> We're the same person! <laughs> Just who is in this twisted committee? Anyway. Yeah, answer the lady's question. He cannot hear you, Inner Cayenne. If that is your real name. Psh, well, ob Did he just respond to Inner Cayenne? I don't think you can do that. I'm confused. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and Okay. Psh, well, obviously it's made up of to Master of Twisted and the advisors of Twisted. Lamp, you don't have any friends. Wait, yes I do! Yeah, you- <laughs> Oh, he's lonely. Yeah, you'd like to think that, when in fact, I just hell of it told you their identity identities yet because of the classified secret. Divulge critical information to a loser like you would be the ultimate breach of warped trust. Okay, name five things you do with your friends. Shit, five things! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Warped Lamp, you are a very sad boy. Surely a challenge. One, vote for most geek type. Two, three, go- <laughs> Wait, did that really just say nothing? Yep. Three, go to the park and skateboard things. Four, be in a cool probably bin. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. Who's Probalby? I don't know why that reminds me of, like, Bulby from Jimmy Neutron. I don't know if any of you know who that is, but 
But those of you who do know, know that I appreciate you. And finally, <laughs> where's Sensei? <laughs> Usually he is bursting with some dumb lesson by now. Maybe we finished all the learnings and can drive car now. What? Did something just pop up in the side of the screen that I didn't notice? Maybe my mind is playing tricks on me. Ooh, ooh, neighbors! Sayonara, suckers! <laughs> okay, bye. Wait, enemy, come back! Or don't. Either way is fine. One less character for me to voice. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, Teach just came in. Darn not! I thought this would be my big escape! Where? Are you- Sensei- Oh, I made him cry. I need to apologize. I hope there's an apologize option. I don't like seeing Sensei upset. <laughs> hey, guys. Kyer's a little bit is also frown. Wow, Sensei looks in a good mood today, bitch. <laughs> More like a bad mood. Great comeback, Lamp. Oh yeah, all right. His dumb usual song isn't even playing right now. Today we're going to learn how to. Uh. Oh no, I forgot it by no. Sensei, Sensei, calm down. No, I won't be able to remember anything. He was using notes this whole time. Where am I? Who am I? What is the meaning of the universe? Where is Carmen Sandwalder? <laughs> I need that to be to be a comic. Where is Carmen Sandowaldo? But also panic. Wow, outlook not so good. Um. Well, looks like Sensei finally kicked the bucket. He's not dead. He's just he's winking so much. Oh no! What should we do, Lamp? Should we call an ambulance? For all four Sensei not found. I'm getting out of here before he invite me to the funeral. That is not a commitment I want on my commitments list, if you know what I'm saying. Nobody knows what you are saying 99% of the time, Lamp. Lamp, that is not compassion- that is not a compassionate exclamation point period. What if Sensei need us? Then it a good thing one of us that isn't me went to medical school, huh? But, but, but I didn't go to medical school! Whoops, darn. Lamp! Get your ass back here! Lamp! Is this gonna be an everyday thing? For who? Lamp or Sensi? Yes. <laughs> Looks like school is out for the day! Woohoo! I can't wait to skateboard and eat cereal and kid verb. <laughs> I got a scholarship to this hot dog skit stand! God, why? Again, like, student 156 better be a romanceable option. God damn it. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's fine. Go have a fun day, all of you. <laughs> I guess once again, since he screwed up big leagues. Hmm. Aw. We should see if he is okay. Look, look, like he just run out of the hallway. I run out of the classroom after Sensi. This is the only other room in the building. What kind of school is this? Why is there only a bathroom and one classroom? Uh, I just, I didn't notice that last time, but it said, you gotta go. Cause you know, it's a driving school and we're inside of a bathroom. Insert rim shot. <laughs> you know, if you told me the town committee center only has one community, that is community with only one M, <laughs> excuse me. You know, if you told me the town community center only has one room, a hallway, and a toilet, I wouldn't have be believed you. At least not before I moved to Floyd Adels, anyway. Sensei? You hear, Sensei? No. Yep. Cry! Looks like he's not here, bitch! Then what is that sound that was Sensei's, vo Sensei's voice? I don't know, some kind of fat bird. Aww, cayenne. Or it's Sensei. Mm. Oh! <laughs> 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 sensei. <laughs> oh crap, you're right! Sensei! And possibly Wario! <laughs> well, who is there? It's me, Cayenne. What's wrong, Sensei?
say? <gasps> oh, student person. Don't worry about it. It's it nothing. Sniff, cry, sniff. I'm sure you remember how I was a wink a lot yesterday. Yeah, you are filling up the wink gauge a bunches. Well, you see, I was really counting on break the world wink record for most wink. And sorry I stopped you from winning at your dream, sensei. But you see, I couldn't let you fill up the whole wink gauge meter and blow up the whole blow up all the school people. Well, those all sound like nice syllables. <laughs> but in the end, I have nothing needed to show for my efforts and this Friday is only a few weeks away. I'm sorry, what? What? What happened this Friday? Oh well, I don't want to bother a student like you with a little old sensei troubles. And little old sensei troubles. Old- old sensei- you- you look like you're like 30 at most. <laughs> Maybe 35. But sensei, I can make it up to you for ruining your dream hopes like the way I did. Can't you tell me? Well, okay, but only because you're my student. See? When I was born, my family also made a brother. You mean you have a twin? Great, there's more of them. Yes! But he is two years littler than me, so he's not a twin. Sensei, that's not a twin. <laughs> exactly. We have to do everything together, except for the things that you don't do together. Such as going to the bathroom, putting on your clothes for school, being locked up to do- Whoa, whoa, hang on, hang on a minute! There's too many things happening! Oh god, there's so many things happening. And eating a pineapple. I'll figure out what that says later! <laughs> I, I saw John Travolta in there somewhere. Hang on. Oh, so it doesn't even let you read it. Cool, awesome, thanks game! Oh, and that third test where you do poops for the doctor. <laughs> I don't want to hear about your poop, Sensei! Oops, social gaff giraffe. What? What does that even mean? So we don't even know what it means in this universe. Cool. Aside from those few exceptions, we did everything together. Including the most important thing in the sensei tradition, the big sensei bobsled team. Or should I say, they used to be big sensei bobsled team. Bubbles said team. The year was 1986. The big floor tattle bobsled journey was coming up and we were training a lot bunch. It was very important that we win the big tournament because that year our enemy was also competing their name and was not Sensei family. Wait, so his last name is Sensei? Okay. We're learning more about this universe. Goals! He's making this up. And even more important was the year I was very want to be just like my athlete role, Guy Manston. Number 88 on the Flo Floor Daddle National Bob sled Sledded Team, the Floor Daddle Giraffes. Oh. Ooh, giraffes. He's making this up. Giraffes? I can't think of an animal that would be more worse at sliding down a hill. And Floor Daddle doesn't even the right climate for bobsledding. Or giraffes. Except the social gaff ones. What does that mean? Will you see that thing, student person? Floor Daddle giraffes is all about overcoming triumphversity and being a giraffe. Like being a giraffe in Floor Daddle. I have. <laughs> yes, being a giraffe in Floor Daddle is the worst thing a person could possibly be. Just like that Disney movie only with people pretending to be giraffe instead of black guy. What? <laughs> also, our mascot used to be the Chicago Black Hawk, but then we got sued by the Chicago Black Hulk. What Disney movie was there a dude trying to be a black guy? <laughs> what movie is this? <laughs> no one ever found out why. Anyway, my big brother was the first, was the front bobsled, and I was the behind bobsled. Those are the two position in bobsled. Then we bobsledded it. When he used to play, Guy Manston was also the behind guy for the floor daddle giraffe sled. <laughs> you see, that's why I wanted to be just like him. The year was 1968. Wait, hang on. I'm, I'm already so lost and so bored. <laughs> 
that the year was set records for most colded in the winter time. It was eight degree. Wow, new record. New record. <laughs> I think that's the Mario Party thing. New record. <coughs> my throat. It inspired me to set my own record. Only it wouldn't be eight. It all would be a different one, like bobsled. Bobbles said. The big bobsled journey was at hand, and the prize season was the golden bobsled Pulitzer. Everything was going very good. He was doing the front bobsled turns, and I did the behind bobsled things, like saying woohoo and bringing snacks. Did you win? Well, no. Oh no! What happened? You- he lost! But uh, I hit the big- hang on. Well, you see, stood it, person, that course had the big bump. The big bump? Yes, the Big Brother's bobsled band bumbled by the big bump. But it so happened my foot was outside the sled when we went it over the big bump and so we tripped our bobsled. Why was your foot outside the sled? Well, to take picture- bitch. <laughs> I had to risk physical injury so I could take pictures of me and my brother on the bobsled. We didn't win the big bobsled Pulitzer. Instead, we win the loss. It turned out the record was eight after all. Eighth place. Out of how many? I did not end up being like my hero guy Manston at all. I was more like Man Geiston, number 333 and a half on the floor daddle sled graphs, whose position is to stand in the middle of the course <gasps> and audience throw garbage at him. That sounds... I mean, depending on how well it plays, how well it pays, that might be a pretty good job just to stand there with like an umbrella and let people throw garbage at you. I mean, that'd be fine. It is a fun time if you're not Man Geiston. <laughs> but the worsted part is, after that day, my brother vowed to swear that we would never work on anything together again. Aw, that's sad. Everything we did became a compete thing instead of a teamwork one. I thought if I could win contested versus my br big brother, he would see that Sensei is a good- Wait a minute! Didn't, didn't you say that he was two years younger than you? I'm very confused about the age gap difference thing. Oh, well. But everything I tried, I wasn't good at it. Shock and awe! Sensei is bad at everything? Shock and awe! Is that what- Oh, that's why he wears the fourth place cement. But wait a minute, he got number- End of mind. It just wasn't like being the behind guy on sled. So many other activities do not have built-in snack time. My brother had a knack for doing things in first place and he would always win that one. And I would always win fourth place, huh? The year was 1689. Oh my God, I can't handle another backstory thing. Sensei! <laughs> We were up in the running in the Big Floyd Huddle County National Banking Competition. That was the contest I was determining to win because I was tired of being the loser guy all the, the times. He baked an apple pie, but I baked a raisin. I took- Wait, just a raisin or a raisin pie? Because a raisin pie actually sounds pretty good. Pe this is a- <laughs> Sorry, weird tangent for a moment, but a, a great that I have- People are sleeping on oatmeal raisin cookies, okay? Oatmeal raisin cookies are good. Y'all are just mean. <laughs> I should have done what he said since he had the smarter idea. It turned out the judge is only like apple pie- then <laughs> It's not even a competition, they're biased! That is cheating! I'm going to take this up with the committee of bakers! Where's Gordon Ramsay? He's not a baker. There's a, there's, a, there's a woman who was on MasterChef who is a baker and I cannot for the life of me remember her name. I like cooking shows sometimes. One of them had a trauma incident with a raisin back in middle school grade, so they kicked me out right as soon as I presented my raisin. That was the last contest I ever saw. Ooh. After that, my brother disappeared into the, into the Netherlands. I haven't taken off my baking raisin gloves since. It seems I'll always be behind a guy on the bobsled of life. Aww. I want to give him a hug. And whoa, I have to leave my failuring all over again. Next Friday is our 32nd annual Sensei Family Reunion Hall. Over 300 senseis. 
Why and how? It'll be the first time I see my brother in months ages. I have a theory. I think the senseis are clones. I have a feeling that the senseis are all clones. And I'm sticking with that theory. The senseis are clones! He's coming in on a flying plane from Costa Rica. He was in the Netherlands. I thought you said he went to the Netherlands. Well, he moved! Since one of my students told me I was good at Wink, I thought I'd try to break the Guinea's world record at it. That way I'd have something to show my family since I thought that said family penises! Oh god, this game is messing with my brain hole. Family sense the bad thing to say after I talk about penises at the big reunion, and I could finally make my brother a proud. But no. But what now? Oh, that. Cheer up, Sensi. I'm sure we can find something talent for you in time. Optimism is a hell of a drug, Cayenne. Come on. We gotta help him. We're the reason that he's so down on himself in the first place. Sniff. But how will I ever measure up to my sibling who is a boy? He is my brother. This. Yep, that was the sentence. It's so hard to face your family when you're all that you have to show for yourself is bad at life. Mood. Well, just because you don't have a Guinea's World Record Prize for doing something that doesn't mean you aren't talent at it. Yep. <laughs> so therefore, you have lots of talent things you are good at. Hmm. Well, like what? Like low! What in the hell happened to Cayenne? As she tried to emulate Sensei. Like learn! I've learned so much about cars since I started learning with you in the class, Sensei. Wow, really? No. But you tried your best, Cayenne. Why didn't you lie to this man? <laughs> but I can't learn at the big family reunion because there isn't won't be a chalkboard. What am I going to do? Well, where is the reunion? At the community set. Hmm, I wonder how we are going to solve this incredibly difficult problem. I'm in charge of making it a very, really good reunion. Wait a sec, that's it. Why don't you try throwing the best reunion ever? That way your brother will see how good you are at party planning and be totes impressed. Hey, you are right. What have you got so far? Would you like to hear my decorations list? Yeah, lay it on me. Okay. One. Balloon. That's a good start. Yes, it is also the entire list. Just one balloon. Well, uh, hold on. I think you need more item than that. Oh no! Sensei mess up again! Honey, there's still, there's still plenty of time to fix this! We have time! We have the strength! We have the power! Amen! Don't worry, Sensei. With my helps, you'll have a great reunion. Don't worry, I'm kind of an expert. Luckily, I happen to be the most party expert of all time. Great! How do we start? First thing is first. We're going to need a theme. But I already have a theme. <laughs> Music joke. No, I mean to theme for the party. I'll say your theme is bad. Shut up, Inner Cayenne. Don't be mean to him. A party theme? Yeah, a theme to base our decorations and activity is on, like pirates or football or Hello Kitty. Oh, oh, or Hello Kitty football pirates. Okay, like I know that she's joking, but that actually sounds like a dope theme. <laughs> Hello Kitty football pirates. That would be awesome. <laughs> I, I want my next birthday party to be Hello Kitty Football Pirates. Those all sound like scary theme. Hmm, I want something less scary. How about space? Great eight idea. Is there, there is nothing threatening about space. Sure. Now that that is sorted out, we can pick out snacks and match our theme for, of outer space. Hmm, yes. But you see, I have been just st st stuck on designing a menu. I couldn't speak for a second. Some of the senseis are organic, so they will eat only vegetarians, but I don't know how to cook those. <laughs> oh, God. Vegetarians are extremely gamey. Trust me, I know. That sounds gross. Also, I can only name about three foods off the top of my head and a few more off the bottom. 
Don't worry, I probably majored in this in college. Let's start with an appetizer. They're super easy. You just have to read my woman's magazine and you're an expert at them. But what should we pick for appetizer? Uh, tiny quiches, pinata, pineapple slice. Tiny quiches actually sounds good. Uh, maybe you try something easy. Yeah, pineapple slices are organic. We can cut up little pineapple and arrange them to look like solar system. That actually sounds like a good idea. All right, we're going to go ahead and stop the episode there while we're in the middle of party planning this space-themed reunion. So thank you everybody so much for watching. A quick reminder that I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific time. If you're interested in keeping up with the series or any other series that I have done or might do in the future, you can click the subscribe button and leave a like down below. Thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Peace.